Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new demo. Today, we have the brand new Starborn chest, but we also, very quickly, we do have a, a lab in Eye of the North with Timey and Garrick that you can check out. And we also have the new uh, Return to Entanglement and Gates of Maguma as well, so there's lots of achievements to do, which we'll be doing on the stream later on. But first up, a look at the Starborn chest. So, in the chest. Our guaranteed item is the Battle Hardened Kit, which has the Potion of Mist Reward. It also has some foods and the money items as well. So it has one potion, one money item, so you're going to get at least 50 silver per chest and up to five gold per chest, which isn't too bad at all. And some foods as well, which I still have loads of these, I think, from the last one that they had this. Oh well. We have the Defiant Glass Weapons, we have the Seraph Wings Backpack and Glider returning from the last chest, as well as the new Moss Bike Skimmer skin uh, that that shaman hinted at the other day. And the Starborn Capes, hopefully we'll be able to grab these guys today. And we also have Zodiac Weapons in the rare, which I guess yeah, kind of makes sense with the Starborn and the Moss Bike. The Glyph of Industry in Flight. Uh, we have, what's that, Ori, Snow Truffle, Omnom, Advanced Leather, and the usual permanent stuff. So let's dive into the chest. We have 26 keys to open today. Let's see how we do. Here we go. Flame Die Kit. Revive Orb. Nothing yet. <laughs> Transmute Charges? Lovely. What's that? That is the Timey's Die Kit. Got some materials now. What do we have here? Ticket scrap, very nice. Oh, a guaranteed weapon unlock. They're always good to have. Another flame die kit. Some teleport to friends. Another flame die kit. We're getting lots of them today. Oh, and some more materials now. Is that another flame die kit? Wow. Guaranteed uh, wardrobe unlock here. Very nice, very nice. Another flame die kit. Wow, five of them already? Nothing unique yet. Ten more keys. I was saying the other day on stream, I was talking about my RNG, so maybe I've, I've uh, screwed my chances. He's an armoured unlock. Was that on uh, Guild Wars 1 last night, or was it the night before? I think it might have been the night before. Commemorative coin with five keys left. Oh, no. Lion's Arch Survivor. Oh, we got a frost die kit, is it? Yeah. Two keys left. Oh my god. No. No. Okay, we can we can buy a new key, right? We have yeah. Buy a gold key. Buy a gold key. Actually don't I have I think I have, I have two gold keys in the bank. Ooh, we got the Starborn Cape. Will we just try another one? Try to get the manatee? Ah, uh, let's go for it. Let's go for it. <laughs> hey! Nice. Okay. Happy days. I shouldn't have closed my bank tab, but... Anyway. <laughs> There's all that. Let's dive into this. Let's start with the dice. Here we go. Flame. We have Timey. We have Lion's Arch Survivor. And we have a Frost. Ooh, Electro Lime. Nice. It has been a while since they brought out new, like, a big new set, hasn't it? Uh, let's start with the top. We have Enamel Jungle. This sells four, three gold, ten. And I don't have it unlocked, so let's grab that. Electro Lime. This sells for eleven. Oh, I thought it'd be more. And I don't have that unlocked either. Charred. Two uh, steel die we do have unlocked, so we can sell this. Alright, we'll list it this time, guys. Next up, we have lime. Also for silver, two. Silt. Silt is two, silver, one. Silver, lead. 199. Probably could have gone a little higher on that. Lava. Okay, it's only 12 copper. <laughs> Spitfire. 
six copper. And then frosting, two silver, two copper. Okay, let's look at the materials bag. Here we go. Uh, some eyetrite, that would have been handy <laughs> a few days ago. There we go. Uh, we have large crafting bags next. Very nice. Oh, we're full on incandescent dust. I need to find a use for that later. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Transmutrate, just get rid of them. Let's go for our battle hardened kits now. We have nine crystallized tiers, which is four gold fifty. That's pretty good. Six siege commander forks. Six gold there. Thirteen rumors of heroics. Where's the other one? Huh. Did I not get the other one? That's annoying. But still, that is 218, that's 20. It's a good 25 gold there. Finally, we have the weapon unlock, which we got the Chak pistol. The Ebon Van. Oh, that's an annoying one. Damn it. <laughs> and the Aristocrat shoulders as well. Okay, next up, let's go for the Mossback Manatee and the Starborn Cape. So, Manatee first, here we go. That's not the Manatee. <laughs> manatee first, here we go. Oh, I actually really like this one. They did a great job on this, I think. Is there any deep water in this area? I don't know. Okay, here we go. I like it. <laughs> I don't know what dice that I have on, but it kind of works. Let's find out now. Let's do dice. Dice, we have on. Burner Steel, Glory, Fog, and Squash. Let's go for default for a little second. So here is the default dice. We have our idle animation there. So I, I, I see what they're going for. It's like a mossy, grassy, like on them, but no. So we have the uh, the foliage and the sort of uh, rigging on the back, I guess, for growing plants. I don't know. I like how the harness is so different, like it's actually tied around and such. And well done in such a way that it wouldn't look like it would affect his swimming too much. I like how he swims, it's very, very cool. Right, let's have a look at the actual die channels now. This is full Shadow Abyss. Full stealth mode. The eyes are very blue with this. And we also have these sort of uh, buckles or spools. Have their own colour no matter what. So. Top left is the main body, as you can see. Top right is all the, the flower sort of blossoms, I would say, throughout the, the back. Bottom left is going to be the rigging, and orange actually looks very nice in that. Kind of mahogany or something, I don't know. But that is all the rigging. And then top right looks to be all the leaves and the uh, of the foliage. 
I do quite like how I had it with the originally. I don't remember what that was. It was like. Something like that. It's kind of simple. It's nice. <laughs> looks like he's going to belly flop as well, doesn't he? I like it. It's a really, that's a really good mate. I really like this one. Right, let's have a look at the cape before we move on to our next character. And here we are with the cape on Asura. Kind of see it fades off. It's got the same kind of rigid skill. You kind of make out where it stops. When you're uh, standing still, you can see the edges. And it's got this lovely constellation feature and this uh, nice attachment there. It does float though. Probably not the best thing to be running on is water. <laughs> when in motion, it's hard to tell the edges. But it looks good. And here is pure Shadow Abyss. Actually, looks pretty good. It said it looked really good with Twilight. Uh, it might change the buckle or something. You know, add a little bit of color, maybe a bit of red. But let's have a look at the dye colors themselves. Top left is part of the buckle, as you can see. The inner area of that, and the top right is going to be the outer one. Yep. Bottom left is the main part of the constellation, and that little gem up on the buckle at the top there. And then top right is going to be sort of cloudy haze going through, and also a bit of that gem at the top as well. Interesting. And here it is with a quick, terrible fashion. <laughs> I try to go kind of lunary, so the fireworks boulders and the uh, gloves here didn't really turn out how I wanted. And I've got the warlords as well, because I just, I think warlords is a very simple attire that kind of works with a lot of stuff, that's why I tend to go for that. There we go, let's move on to our next character. Here we go. Here we are on a human with the new Starborn cape. That's it in a run there. And then we also have the new manatee. I've just been calling this a manatee. I honestly don't know what it's actually called. What is it called? I just uh, immediate moss back. That's what it's called. The moss. That makes sense. There's moss on its back. There is moss on its back, so that does make sense. Keeping that, like, I know, I see what they're kind of, I don't know if I like the moss on its back. I think I would prefer it if it was just less mossy overall. Or maybe if the moss was in different patches so you could, like, uh, color half of it darker if you wanted to. I don't know, I feel like it's a, it's a lot of moss. But it's nice, I think, if you kind of make it just look fuzzy with like a steel or a grey. Oh, wait, it's not you, it's you. No, it's not you. Never mind, it's you. <laughs> I kind of like that where it looks maybe kind of just like hair. I think that looks better. Maybe not though. I don't know, I think I just need to find the right dye patterns. Anyway, let's move on to our next character. Here we go. Here we are on a Silvari with the new cape, more purpley bluey dyes. And they are uh, gold, fluff, robin, and grape gum. Let's have a look at the moss back. That looks kind of cool, with the blueiness, more more like algae or something. I think that can be blue, can't it? So yeah, I think I think algae can be blue, so that kind of makes sense. And the dyes on this guy, we have night iris, pyre, robin, and grape gum. 
Let's move on to our next character. Here we go. And here we are on a char. With the new cape. It is, again, the bendy sort of type. That I somehow it flicks up so much when walking. <laughs> I don't know. Capes and char have always looked a bit weird to me. But there we are. I think this might be default die, is it? We've gold, we have fluff, we have arrogance, we've deep lilac. Is that default? It is. And next we also have the mossback manatee. Again, this is default 2. And it looks good. It indeed looks good. Right, let's move on to our final character, which is Norn. Here we go. Here we are on Norn with the cape. Got a blue, orange, and black sort of dye pattern here. I've actually I've just noticed that the image on the cape stays still, right? If you get me. No matter where the camera pans, it's just this cape reveals it. So it's kind of like a flat image, and no matter where the cape is, there'll be some visible. Interesting. Let's have a look at the pattern of dye. So you have a uh, Sienna, Sienna, Pyre, and Starry Night. Looks quite nice. If you take out a little bit of Sienna and add in a bit of blue, and you might get. Oh, it's down here. It's this one. Ah. Maybe like a minty green or something. Oh no. That's too bright. Come here. That's a bit better. Anyway, let's have a look at the uh, moss back. Which is ready and greeny, because it was the hummingbird beforehand. I'd done that as a belly flop. Just <laughs> this is a very nice one. It's looking good. A bit too green, maybe, but like I just I really like this as a main skin overall. Very very cool. Right, and that is it for Norn. Oh wait, let's look at the dice. And on this we have. We have crisp mint, we have midnight green, we have country teal, and we have strawberry for this. I, I, just, I love the way he like nods his head and everything when he's traveling. It's nice. Right, let's move. Let's head back to Quando and let's wrap up this video. Here we go. And that is it for today's demo, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, and subscribe for more in the future. We will be back later on today, as I said, with a Guild Wars 2 stream of the new Return to Maguma, or Maguma, to Entanglement and the Gates of Maguma uh, bonus event. So we'll be trying to get all of these achievements, as well as finishing off... Was there new achievements added? I didn't check, even. So we'll also be looking to finish off the actual in-game achievements that we haven't quite finished up. Finished off the latter half of the season, but not the first half. And so that is our goals for today's stream. And we also have polls as well. The links for that should be in the description. They'll be closing about 20 minutes before I start streaming as I make the character. And that is for the profession and the race. But that's it for me. You can join the Discord. The link for that is down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. Uh, you can also join the community Guild Wars 2 Guild. The link for that is either in the Discord or you can message me in game. And I'll set back later on. But I hope you guys enjoyed the new story. Well, new old story. <laughs> the refresher of a story. And good luck if you're opening any chests. You can head on over to this week's giveaway. The link for that should be in the end cards. That's it for me for today. So until next time, take care.